let's talk about Kundalini. What is it? It's the force of life. So it moves through your spine, from the earth, from the cosmos to your body. Many people don't know what it is because they don't realize they have this beautiful, warm, tender, strong fire in their bodies. You can imagine like a volcano, right? So that is what is running through our bodies. Like a volcano of energy that will clear out all the distortions every day. So this volcano, like what you see in Hawaii or in Iceland, it comes up and starts to emerge from the earth. It starts to clean up the environment. New soil, new fruits. It's this everlasting cycle. But this is also in our bodies. These cells rejuvenate every time again if we let that energy flow, that kundalini come up from our spines, into our heart, into our third eye and all the way up. And then you think, oh yeah, I have this orgasm, I go on with my day, but there's so much going on in that orgasm. There is so much going on in that orgasm. What is it that's going on in that orgasm? It's the creation that explodes in the body. So there's a space coming, there's a expansion coming in the body. And it ripples out of the body into space, into the energy of the universe. And then what you get is magnetism. So things that are in alignment with your body, in alignment where you are, will start to return and look you in the face. And then you can like engage with it, engage with money, engage with people, engage with love. And then you see how you interact in reality with love and then you can start to cleanse your patterns because you can actually see it, what's happening in the outside world what's happening to you you cleanse the patterns and then you go back into the kundalini again and it starts to move again so this is actually also the cycle of life right so to become a straight line equilibrium and balance so we balance ourselves out with the kundalini the Kundalini is also connected to a God force, so a bigger force. The Kundalini is connected to guides. The Kundalini is connected to nature. It's everywhere. So everything that comes into you can be still distorted, right? like things you, that are not serving you, or it is serving you. You have this beautiful feeling and it's okay. The main thing is to stay with you in alignment, share energy with other people, within alignment, not from need, greed, uh, using people. And all these patterns we are clearing out. The patterns of using, the patterns. And this is what we do when we pray. So we pray for it to clear it out. We help the body to release the old. And the more we do that, the more we come to peace, and then we just have one straight line with Kundalini moving up and down like an organism, like a really normal, like we are. <sighs> so maybe you can imagine now when I talk, how can I expand my energy? How can I move my energy outwards and become one with everything? Connect with the whole, connect with nature, connect with love. But you can realize that in a very, very short moment in meditation. Thank you. Bye-bye.